Kelly Oubre here is going to get cooked because he's waiting for a handoff to happen that doesn't. But the problem, and this is coaching, K.J. Martin underneath the three-point line at about the elbow with your back to the sidelines. Seeing ball, seeing man. When Kayla Martin comes this way, I'm going to stunt. My feet are going to be set. I'm going to get out to Nikola Jovic. Who cares about Nikola Jovic anyways? Why are you guarding above the three-point line for no reason? That's coaching. That's why the Sixers are going nowhere this year. Buddy Heald, don't crowd Tyler Harrow. Just guard. Slide your feet. See, your if, if screen gets set, don't worry. You want to hedge this screen anyways. There's no place for Adebayo to go. Tyrese Maxey's standing right there. You're coming out to crowd Tyler Harrow. So now you're going to be off balance here, and now you're not going to have any chance of getting over this screen. Wide open. Anyone could have scored that. Coaching. K.J. Martin. Get to underneath the three-point line with your back to the baseline. Seeing ball, seeing man. Now I'll be ready to switch. But again, you're backpedaling now trying to guard Jovic. I should already be there. So you're going to be off balance as this switch is about to happen. You're going to be late getting out to Duncan Robinson. Now you can't guard this handoff. Now it's Lob City. This is why Nick Nurse was fired in Toronto. You put your players in impossible spots to be successful. I could ice this screen right here, keeping Duncan Robinson to the sidelines. Kelly Oubre Jr. is waiting for Bam Adebayo and backside help. I could hedge this screen. Tyrese Maxey's also still no place for Adebayo to roll to, and I'm pushing Duncan Robinson out. You run your idiot brain-dead drop coverage. So now what's Tyrese Maxey supposed to do? If he steps up, it's an open catch-and-shoot three for Tyler Harrow. If he doesn't, this. Kelly Oubre in transition. Get back. Just get back to the three-point line. Ready to slide your feet. Don't go towards the ball for no reason. You're not going to be ready to guard. So you're going to get cooked. Now, Tyrese Maxey's backpedaling. Should he be back at the three-point line right now in the gaps? Duh. But it's Nick Nurse. So Tyler Harrow can walk to the rim. Cannot, this is coaching, cannot have four Sixers players under the free throw line. Buddy Heald isn't even trying to get this offensive board. Get back. You have everyone standing. So the rebound happens, four Sixers underneath the free throw line. Hit ahead, easy. It's another reason... Another reason why you cannot, under any circumstances, run drop coverage. I gotta get Tyler Harrow out of here. Again, no place for Bam Adebayo to roll to. Cameron Payne is standing and waiting. Instead, you run drop coverage. So Tyler Harrow now can just walk right into the lane. You're giving him the lane. And now when Cameron Payne steps up and backside help, Tyler Harrow can easily make this backdoor cut. You let him get in the paint. Coaching, coaching, coaching. Coaching. First of all, Cameron Payne's coming down to help. Why is Tyrese Maxey not staying with Haywood Highsmith? Paul Reed can just force out a bio to the middle of the floor. But if Tyrese Maxey's coming up to help, this is not an option. There's no choice being made here. You must take Haywood Highsmith and help the helper. Buddy Heald's going to have to do that. And guess what Buddy Heald doesn't do? Coaching, 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 backdoor. Disaster. Kelly Oubre is guarding Bam out of bio. So can Paul Reed please get to the corner? Why is Paul Reed standing in the paint? Now, KJ Martin does a great job getting in help right here. It'd be nice if Buddy Heel didn't gamble. You have help. So you can just slide your feet. There's help right there. But you gamble instead. So, I mean, Paul Reed's still standing in the paint. For, that was just atrocious. This is coaching. This is garbage. This is why the 76ers will go nowhere this year. Nick Nurse is a walking loss unless he has Kawhi Leonard. Paul Reed's got it. His arms have got to get out. You got to be attached out of bio with your arms out so Tyler Harrow can't curl. Look at this. You, Tyrese Maxey has no time to get over the screen. That's coaching. I feel bad for the players. It's just grotesque transition defense. Paul Reed never backpedal back in transition. You sprint back. Look at Paul Reed. Look at Ricky Council, too. Like, everyone's walking, walking. Look at that. Nick Nurse. Cameron Payne's going to be in help here. So what do we need to do? Well, it's transition defense. So we sprint back and get your back turned to the baseline. Cameron Payne tiptoeing, backpedaling back. 
back to the sideline. So now as opposed to having my feet set in a defensive stance where I can stunt and then recover, you have no chance. You're just seeing the ball now. What is Ricky Council doing? Duncan Robinson has his dribble picked up. Get Just get out to Kayla Martin. There's nothing to be doing. Why are you not in defensive stance? What is the dribble's gone? So you're going to be late getting out to Kayla Martin, not ready to guard. Now, a well-coached team, especially in a late clock situation, Cameron Payne sprinting to get to the top of the key with his feet set in the gaps. Stunt, recover. Cameron Payne stands. And you somehow give up an open jumper at late clock. Do the 76ers work on this? Or is this all just random? There's a double coming baseline. You're supposed to know that if you're prepared. So Paul Reed, make sure Bam Adebayo's going baseline to that double. And then Buddy Heel would have to help the helper so Jacquez isn't open for a dunk. Well, it seems like Paul Reed doesn't know a double's coming because he's selling out for a charge, not getting it. And now it's a five on four. Coaching. Poorly coached. You don't go over a handoff. Paul Reed gets up. Jam the screener. Show your hands so Tyler Harrow isn't pulling right off the handoff. And Tyrese Maxey will easily meet him on the other side. You go over. Now you need, it's a two-on-one. So now Buddy Heald's got to sprint over so this isn't a lob. And oops, Duncan Robinson's wide open now. NBA has to legislate this out of the game. I mean, Nick Nurse is such trash that you've got to just take this away from him. You can, This is too easy of a pick and roll. Get up and hedge. Move Tyler Hero out. There's no place for Bam Adebayo to roll to. None. Buddy Heald standing there. Are you kidding? This is what the league needs to legislate out. Look at what garbage this is. Nick Nurse is a disgrace. Okay, so first of all, you're just going to calmly give up a wide open three to Duncan Robinson. That's the one thing he does, and you're just going to give it up because you're in drop coverage instead of hedging, pushing him out, backside help right there. So, boom, you just give up a wide open three. Kelly Oubre, though, eh, your back cannot be to your man. Jacquez is entering the paint. I've got to be seeing ball, man. i got to stay underneath and b keep him out of here. But you're not seeing him, so that's kind of a problem. Easy offensive board. It's just the next clip. Like, could you visually imagine coaching this? Th this is unbelievable. The league has got to step in and get Nick Nurse and his pea brain out of the league. I'm not giving up an open jumper to Tyler Harrow. I'm not doing it. I'm hedging. I'm pushing him out. There's KJ Martin's right there in backside help. Maxi can take both heat two passes away because you're pushing Tyler Harrow towards half court. Look at this. This is complete crap. You want to know what's wrong with the NBA? This garbage. Nick Nurse. Down three with 40 seconds left. First of all, why do you need a trap here? Can't KJ Martin just get in help? But okay, so you're going to trap. So now these rotations, Paul Reed's got to rotate to the corner. KJ Martin's got to communicate that he's coming down to Adebayo. So Tyrese Maxey knows to go to Jaime Jaquez. But you're not communicating it. And two people go to Adebayo, game over. Get another chance. Tyler Harrow's going to miss. Could K.J. Martin please turn his body around and box out? That is not a box out. You're facing out of bio, but don't worry. There's not one other Sixers player boxing out either. So Miami gets the ball. Two free throws now. Ball game.